Welcome back to the Garden with Joy and Holly radio show. Thank you for being with us today. Time for your garden questions, our garden answers. If you've got a question, send it on over to GardenTalkRadio at gmail.com. That's GardenTalkRadio at gmail.com. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-927-SHOW, 1-800-927-7469. Leave a message if we can't get you on the air, and we'll get you the answer in which you have asked. So the question is sponsored, this question is sponsored by Fleet Farm and FleetFarm.com. How often do I water rosemary to avoid root rot in my containers? Okay. So rosemary, the, the, the problem with rosemary is if you water it too frequently, it will develop root rot and then you've got a dead plant on your hand. Uh, so, or your hand. So what you want to do is water rosemary generously, soak it uh, so the water is running out of the bottom of the pot, wait a little bit, water it again at that same time, so trying to get the whole bulb of soil saturated. T uh, typically, rosemary in the summer, you're going to water it every uh, once every uh, week, and then in the spring or fall, you're going to water it about once every two weeks. And if it's outside... You probably it's going to go into dormancy if you're in a climate in which it can be uh, it will recover and come back. It'll go into dormancy. If it's in a really cold area, you're not going to get it to come back unless you bring it indoors. And if you bring it indoors, you want to water it um, uh, and keep it on the dry side. But you do want to add water to it. Keep it in a south facing window and you can have rosemary all winter long. OK, OK, great. Um, so recently we got a rain barrel and was so excited to use it. But I've heard so much about the dangers of using rain barrel water on your veggies since it's not potable and the algae can be harmful to plants. Is there any truth to this or is it like um, maybe I should just be aware of something? Well, just be aware of it. Don't worry over small amounts of algae in your rain barrels. They provide fertilizer boost to your plants. But if the water uh, it has a bad odor in it, it's just caked with algae, then that is going to be a problem. You want to drain your rain barrel out. Um, and scrub it out, or you can mix a solution of three quarters cups of bleach to one gallon of water, three quarter cups of bleach with one gallon of water, and then uh, scrub the internal internal portions of that rain barrel out to get all the algae. Like we talked in the first segment, typical algae development occurs when the rain barrel is transparent and can get sunlight internally, and that's when the algae is developing. All right. One thing you can do with a zucchini that uh, comment came in. One thing you can do with zucchini that you didn't mention last week is make zucchini flour. It's also called uh, Amish flour, Holly. Uh, it was uh, or uh, troop flour. It's a staple of the Amish and the Mennonites households. Uh, you can take large, you can take zucchini, chop it up very finely, dehydrate it, and then grind it up into a flour-like consistency. Yeah, and you can use, um, you can replace up to a third of the flour in most recipes without any problem. So I guess, and plus it, it could maybe somehow be incorporated if you don't utilize gluten flour, you could right. probably get creative and... And it could be great for free. breading fish, mm -hmm. um, tortillas, uh, breads. It makes uh, great dumplings and uh, you add it to your brownies. And most time you, you're not going to notice it's zucchini. That's the benefit of it. You can turn in that flour aspect of it and you don't know what you, you know. You don't know. So it's, it's a good way to utilize some of that. So thank you for that comment in regards, you know, and, and we talk about that when we do a show, we only have a certain amount of time in order to cover you know, 37 things, so we have to decide what are the best eight things to talk about yeah. in in the block of time that we're allowed, because you could talk about zucchini for a whole hour and still not cover every aspect of it that you want to or you feel you need to. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com. 